Well, girls and boys, uh, here's a message for you on this first Sunday in Advent today. It is the first Sunday in Advent. I don't know if you remember, but once a year, starting in late November, early December, we change the colors of our pyramids. You see the blue over there with the pulpit where Amy Hulse was reading, and the blue of hope, and the blue candles, and my blue shirt, and, and lots of things on the altar, and this stole. Uh, we lit the first candle of Advent today, the candle of hope. What is hope to a Christian? Well, we are not talking about forlorn hopes, because forlorn hopes are for things we, we really don't think will come true. We just kind of have wishful thinking. When we talk about hope, we talk about Christian hope. It's, well, let me show you with something first to illustrate. Here's a thing, and now maybe you've seen this thing before, maybe you've blown into one. Uh, someone in some factory somewhere made this little thing that also rolls out like this when you blow into it, right? I think. Do you think it will go out if I blow into it? Well, that's great. I think it will work too. We that's, it's that kind of hope that we mean by Christian hope. It's hope that we know will come true. Like when a Christian dies, we hope and we know that that person is going to heaven. It's that kind of hope. So let me try this, see if it'll go forward. Hey, that's great. It worked. What I hoped for really did happen. And that's true with Jesus too. Whatever he promises will indeed happen. Let us pray. Gracious Lord, today is our first candle in Advent, the candle of hope. It reminds us that, that we hope for a great future ahead. And we know that the future is in your hands, O oh God. You've got the whole world in your hands. And therefore, we have a certain hope that you will come through. In Jesus' name. Amen.